Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your week two screencast video. So, in this week's screencast video, I'll talk a little bit about the syllabus and Google Drive exercise. Uh, the textbook, Literacy Narrative, our unit one, we begin that this week. The reading, uh, love letters, and the discussion board activity. So, I want to stress upon everyone that reading and instructions and viewing the screencast videos and lecture videos completely and thoroughly. For an online course, this is the only method I have to communicate with the class. There are no virtual class meetings. This is an online course. I have several comments in uh, some of the student questionnaires or the syllabus assignment asking about when we're going to meet. We are not going to meet. This is an online course. Starting next week, in week three, I will open up office hours, virtual office hours, as indicated in the syllabus, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 11. I will set up an open link with WebEx if it works. It'll, that way you can just dial in, ask a question, clarification, but this is an office hour. I will have no prepared class and there will be no class meeting. So let's please set the record straight on that particular issue. All right. So uh, it's important. Engage with the videos, replay them, take notes, write notes down about the assignments of what I'm talking about. This is my method of communicating with you, the students. It's critical. All right. So this week we're going to be starting our literacy narrative and um, I want to begin first by letting everybody know that in the syllabus folder right here on the syllabus tab, you'll be able to grab either the GDoc link here to the textbook, right? And you can um, work with this however you see fit in your habits or if you want you can download the pdf version the pdf version is uploaded right to canvas here it'll upload and open right from canvas and you can um, click on save as and then you can save it as what you want where you want on your computer to open it up whenever you want to work offline and read it it's there you have two links in the syllabus um, tab right here so let's get back to announcements for a minute I want to click on the next item we'll have the textbook is there the uh, syllabus and Google Drive exercise you want to make sure that you are copying the link to your uh, uh, Google Doc I don't care if it's the Word Doc I'll open it up in Google Doc whatever it may be out of the syllabus folder there it's got to be a public link a link in the syllabus and google drive folder right here once it's in the course folder once it's in this this syllabus and google drive exercise folder that document becomes a shared document as you can see here so that way when I open up that folder of that link in Canvas, it's going to take me right to the document. It's kind of critical that it is a shared link. If you're uploading directly from your drive and you're trying to put it into the uh, Canvas assignment, it won't let give me access because it's only in your drive. It's got to be in that shared folder so that way I can see it. All right. It's critical for all assignments that we're going to be working on moving forward. So, like I said, we're starting on the literacy narrative, our first unit and our first essay assignment. So, if we go down in the module section to new unit number one, literacy narrative, we have the overview here, which will give you an overview of exactly what it is we're doing. And the overview and the objections actually gets you to the first reading. Love letters. Clicking on this, this should take you straight to the PDF for love letters. This is our first reading. It is a literacy narrative written by Megan Foss. Okay, as I scroll through this here, you see section one. All right, and it begins her story and it works its way all the way straight through. And you will see if I, as I scroll to, let's see where section two comes in. You'll find section two, and then ultimately, if I continue to scroll, there'll be a section three. This is a three-part literacy narrative, and uh, everybody should focus on not only the story, 
but really it has to be kind of critical as to how we look at the purpose of writing and audience and language are the three essential tools here. So this is your reading. Let's go on to the next. What do we got here? Okay. So I, once again, I've got that link to the textbook. Okay. And then you have another link to love letters here and also uh, chapter two, the literacy narrative. It's only a short chapter, but it'll give you some of the specifics and how we go about writing the literacy narrative and my expectations there. So you might want to take a quick read of this. Here is the target assessment of the literacy narrative. I will cover this particular uh, topic on uh, midweek when I do the lecture video. But for this week, you do have a couple of discussion board posts and responses to work on. So let's take a look at the first discussion board this week, discussion board number two. Okay, you have uh, an estimate of time. Okay, throughout the course, we will focus on purpose and audience and writing. And that's what we'll focus on in love letters and analyzing that. Okay, even within a narrative, purpose and audience can make the story come alive while setting the stage for a dynamic telling of everyday experiences. So the topic instructions. After reading section one in love letters, what is Mickey's purpose for writing? In other words, why is Mickey writing? Who would be her audience? So as you read section one, there's those questions you want to focus on. You've got a couple of other questions here in this prompt. So remember for your initial post, I'm looking for two to 300 words discussing the prompts above in an organized paragraph structure. Organized paragraph structure, break it up into paragraphs. It should be about two or maybe even three good paragraphs. Okay, for your initial post, let the discussion board develop and respond to two of your classmates posts by the days indicated in the schedule. Spread the conversation around, okay? Don't be a discussion board hog and immediately just grab two people and bunch up responses on like maybe a half a dozen students. Wait a little while and then move your responses around. The grading criteria, successful initial posts will meet the expectations, community instructions, both in content and development. Two responses should engage with context specifically and advance the conversation forward. So a response might be, again, with, I agree with your thoughts on Mickey's purpose in writing, but did you think about X or Y? Okay, this all goes into the average of the discussion uh, board post, right? You just click on the reply button, open up the text box, now, there are no GDoc links uploaded to any discussion board. If you want to write your post, your initial post in a GDoc, copy, paste, and format into the text box that is opened when you click on the reply button. That way, nobody has to A, click through to find your post in a GDoc. B, even if you've shared that GDoc in some way and people can reach it, because if people can't, don't have access to it, like I can't grade the syllabus or Google uh, Drive exercises because I can't see it because I don't have access to it. It's going to be a mess when people can't see what's being posted in the discussion board post. So once again, no GDoc links only in a discussion board. They should be text in the text box. All right. So this is discussion board number two. Let's get to the discussion boards and we're going to move on to discussion board number three. Right here is going to covering sections two and three. Allow yourself some time on this one because sections two and three are a little bit more complicated. Especially focus on section two. Section two is critical in the transformation and understanding purpose and audience. Mickey's goals as far as writing. Uh, what does it mean for her in the real world and how to reintegrate herself into society? Purpose and audience and then focus too as you're reading all three sections focus on the language okay so that's critical that's how we're going to begin the readings week as i call it we're going to read about uh, love letters will be our first activity i've talked about discussion boards we're going into the literacy narrative once again on about wednesday i will have the lecture video where i will talk about the essay assignment in depth if you have any questions or issues, please send me an email during the week. Thank you and good luck.